Hello, lovely people. Uh, thank you for watching Chef and Knife, and thank you for subscribing my videos. Today, it's all about cutting boards, right? I do have some cutting boards which I'm using every day. It's basically for the person who loves to cut or who have a good knives and it's all about for the home cooks right and how are you going to take care a good uh, cutting board at home so that's the question i do have three to four to five six six cutting boards currently i'm using this one it's a straight heavy bottom board with some deep narrow on it so i can prep my uh, ingredients and I can store it here it's a double side board right so as you can see one side is this one and another side is straight right so it's a straight board from back side and uh, I do have the another one which is more on to this way right as you can see that right it's just basically a coat handed board right and the third board is this one it's a cheese board cheese fruits and serving board as you can see that it's it's good board good handle right good handle not too big and very clean board. so i don't prep my food what i do i use to serve my food on this board so cheese uh some kind of starters uh i don't use main but some kind of meat products cheese and small starters like prosciutto and salads hearty salads I served I use this board so it's a good board right and this one it's a very old board so basically it's a small board for I use it for uh, most of all my seafood and the meat so it's a meat and seafood board right I don't Got a big fish at home, small pieces, like fillet one, fillet, not whole fish, cause at home I don't want a, a puffer uh, fillet at home, so I don't do mm, whole filleting fish at home. So this is for mostly my fillet fish, chicken, the beef and some kind of lamb or some kind of meats so this is a boat for my meat poetry and the fish and uh, how you clean your boats right that's your second question right so how you take care of your wooden boats so there are some oils oil a good soapy water and you need to dry it if you're not drying your board you're going to kill your board so my suggestion would be uh, if you're a home cook right you need to uh, clean your board right uh, with paper towel or a wet towel and uh, some kind of wood oil so it can be remain uh, clean. Don't throw this kind of board on running water. You're going to kill it, right? Cause these boards can grow bacteria. So whenever you're using a board, you need to see that uh, you have to take care of it, right? You can't pour your uh, board in the running water. So, that's 
first stage how you clean a board a wooden board now if you are home cook how many boards you need as a home cook right you just need one board uh, same size like this and uh, a heavy one so you can use everything on the same board so if so many people will going to ask me what's why we need a wooden board why can't we go for a plastic or a industrial material type of uh, material for the boards you know i know wooden boards can go bacteria right if you're not take caring it plastic board and other type of materials which we use in industry can ruin your knife right your knife will be get dull you're using some kind of other materials in a board but wooden boards can take care your knife because they are natural they are not man made it's natural wood so it's a good product my choice is buy a wooden board not a plastic or industrial material type of cutting boards they are not natural it's they are made by a human being it's, it's it's in nature so my at, at my preference i prefer to use a, a wooden board at home in industry we use plastic board and some kind of material boards but i prefer a good wooden board at home so, uh, yeah a good wooden board not much heavy have to be a little bit heavy because you're not going to uh, throw a big towel downside it's not an industry we, we we use tea towel a wet tea towel under under uh, under the board so that board will not move around but if you are at home and if you're planning to use your board for a couple of minutes it's all right yeah you can use your board without tea towel wet tea towel so if like yeah well, what we do we we use a tea towel under the board so our board will not move around because it's a long process it, it it will be a long wedge prep so we don't need our board to move around so we use a wet towel under the board it's easy in future videos i will show you how to uh, set up a board in your working table right right now it's all about what board you need to buy if you are home cook right if you're home cook then what uh, what kind of board will suitable for you there are many boards in market right many chopping boards like this one right like this one right or simple like this one small board right I do have one more I don't want to make a mountain of it just to showcase you that I do have two or three more boards more wooden boards I do have a butcher board also so it will be on it would be in, in, in next video but today is all about a cook future there will be more 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 videos about uh, what boards you can have but right now uh, it's all about home cook how to buy a good wooden board for home that's the question right now why what we need or uh, why we need a wooden board at home for my experience I prefer a wooden board because it's a very uh, suitable for your knife and it's look great on your kitchen area plus industrial board and plastic boards you need to clean them and you need a very kind of uh, chemicals to clean that these board but wooden board you just need a good hot soapy water and you need to dry it plastic board and other material boards you need to rub them right because food is going to stuck stuck on that plastic 
but this wooden board can be cleaned easily so if you're home cook don't buy a cheap plastic or industrial type of material boards spend your money on wooden boards buy a board which is more on to not too heavy but can you use it from both sides right both side boards are good so you can buy a wooden butcher block for home or you can buy this kind of big big heavy board for home so let's finish this video about my review for home cooks and home cooks if you're watching this video right if you have any question please write uh, yes this is chef and knife and thank you for watching my videos and uh, I hope you will write some comment if you have any question please write your comment and I love to make uh, love to reply you back yes thank you for watching chef and knife and thank you for subscribing my videos if you are new to this channel please subscribe please hit the like button which is below on this video please subscribe thank you for watching chef and knife and have a nice day guys thank you